When he collected enough data about the dinosaurs on the island, Dr. Wu set out to his lab to locate the DNA containing the very virus that caused the mutation in the first place. He found a sample of the bacteria in one of the drawers on his desk and analyzed it to see if he could remember what he used to create it. Once he figured it out, he set out to make the cure, but he needed to go to the mainland to pick up some of the ingredients that he needed. As Dr. Wu and his crew went back to the boat, he said his final goodbyes to Blue and the Packy tribe, but as they were about to leave, there was a loud roar. Dr. Wu was confused, but Blue knew right away who it was. Sure enough, the Indominus Rex exited the jungle and glared at the crowd. Dr. Wu shivered in fear as he saw his past literally come back to haunt him. This was the white one that the Paki tribe had been talking about all along. The hybrid was now larger, stronger, and smarter than ever due to the mutation, and she wanted revenge. Then three other figures walked out of the jungle beside her. They looked like raptors. Dr. Wu was even more confused seeing how Blue was the last of her kind. Blue, however, knew exactly who they were. Charlie, Delta, and Echo. What were they doing working for the White One? Dr. Wu then pointed out that the Indominus Rex was part raptor, so she was able to communicate with them. Then the White One looked at Blue and growled as if she was trying to say something. Blue understood that the Indominus was trying to get her to join the pack, but Blue, having learned her lesson from 2015, refused. The Indominus Rex then ordered the raptors to attack, and Dr. Wu ordered his crew to defend. The Packy tribe also helped in trying to fend off the White One's pack. Blue tried to persuade her siblings that this isn't the way, and at first they refused to comply. That is until the White One made the grave mistake of ordering her raptors to kill Blue. All three raptors just turned to the hybrid and hissed at her. They may have been working for the White One all along, but they still recognized Blue as their sister. Delta then turned to Blue and growled as if to say, Go get help. We'll hold her off. When the raptors outright refused to kill Blue, an enraged Indominus lunged forward to kill Blue herself, but was stopped by her siblings. Blue decided to run into the jungle and look for Rexy. She found Tyranny fighting Asset 87 for dominance, and it seemed like they hated each other's guts. Blue had to break the two carnivores up and try to warn them about the White One. Blue told them that the Indominus was a greater threat than the both of them combined, and that she needed all the help she could get to defeat the White One once and for all. The two carnivores reluctantly agreed to set aside their differences and work together. Then they followed Blue to the Indominus. Meanwhile, back at the base, the White One was overwhelming the Packy tribe and Dr. Wu's crew, as well as the raptors. Then the Mosasaurus showed up and grabbed the White One, preparing to drag her into the ocean. This time, however, the White One was expecting this, and recognized the Mosasaur and wanted revenge. The Indominus Dominus grabbed the Mosasaur and started ripping it to shreds and overpowering it. As the giant Mosasaur hit the ground, the Indominus went in for the killing blow, when she heard a roar followed by another roar and a call. The White One looked over and sure enough, Blue, Rexy, and 87 charged out of the jungle and straight towards the Indominus. The three took turns biting and slashing the hybrid, and soon the Packy tribe and Blue siblings joined in. With all these dinosaurs attacking at once, the White One found herself overwhelmed and tried to retaliate, but there were too many of them. Then the Mosasaurus got up, having been given enough time to recover, and also joined the fight. Rexy and the Mosasaur held the White One in place, while 87 went for the signature neck-breaking technique on the Indominus, killing it for good. Rexy and 87 both roared in victory before nodding to each other in acknowledgement 
and walking away into the jungle. The Packy tribe then left as well, and so did Blue's packmates, who looked back at Blue and motioned her to follow them. Then Blue looked over at Dr. Wu to share one last goodbye before leaving with her sisters. Dr. Wu and his crew then set off to find the ingredients needed for the cure. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.